that you're doing well, my sweet honeysuckle. I'm so happy to see you. You know I really miss you when we haven't met, when I haven't posted and haven't received your comments, and I really start missing you. You've become a very important and a very positive part of my life. So, today I'm just um, sitting on the floor and I wanted to chat with you and also share with you some things that I've been loving as the past month especially has been quite stressful. So, I'll be sharing with you an amazing series that you can watch because that's what I've been watching to get my mind off of things and new bedwear and just new things that I got that they have laid all over here on the floor yeah. So, um, the first thing that I will start with though is of course fragrance now, I have to say that recently I'm wearing uh, perfume only at bedtime. I'm not really wearing it during the day because, as I said, the days have been stressful and I don't want any of my favorite perfumes to be associated with it. So, I've sprayed some on my pillow and a couple of days, actually it was yesterday, not even a couple of days ago, one of my dogs, Lady, Lady, she was, she'd gone up on bed and on my pillow and she was like, I'll take my slippers off, she was like, um, slipping on my, uh, on my pillow and then when she came off and came to me, I was like, oh lady, you smell good <laughs> and this is what she was smelling of let me show you so yeah here is the fragrance it's Woody Oakmoss Woody Oakmoss by Dossier Inspired by Chanel Coco Mademoiselle Yes, I think this is the sexiest perfume that I've ever tried Maybe Armani Code would be debating with it and Narciso Rodriguez for her But now Narciso Rodriguez for her and um, Musky Rose by Dossier, which I also love are in our other apartment so, this is what I would spray on my pillow and when I lay my head on the pillow, my hair starts smelling of it it smells so good, let me spray mm, it smells amazing it just smells of the most magnificent jasmine some you know, some, uh, some vanilla and a very subtle, soft patchouli let me read the notes as it says on dossier uh, and by the way, if you don't know if just you happen not to know because dossier is one of my favorite perfume brands they make inspired fragrances like fragrances inspired by other famous brands and um, for the fraction of the price and they source their ingredients which are cruelty free from glass that is a place in France um, town in France where most really big designer houses and niche houses also source their ingredients that's why their perfumes are such high quality and uh, they, as I am a YouTuber, give me a coupon code so I will leave the coupon code in the description box uh, down below and if you use my coupon code, please use it um, you will get additional 10% off to all the, you know, sales 
and the amazing low prices that are already on the website so that will give you additional um, discount so definitely love 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 to see and Woody Oakmo also has the notes of bergamot, orange and peach and as the top notes middle notes are jasmine, rose, patchouli I don't really smell the rose much and then the base notes oak mousse, vanilla and vetiver it smells so good basically they smell identical this is the original Chanel Chanel, Chanel, Chanel Coco Mademoiselle did you know that Chanel is actually not a real name? Chanel would you like the story of how there was a mistake and Coco Chanel ended up being Coco Chanel, not Chancel and what is Coco? why she was named Coco? <laughs> oh, all of these my videos with the history series, the crime series I thought I would be already be posting them right now but all this happened to my grandmother so you know she has broken her hip but I'm thinking I have to like collect myself and start posting maybe start from the little stories you know like little crime stories even though I'm seeing little crime stories but they're very serious very very serious and I'm so looking forward to discussing those with you because some of them just are completely baffling to me okay so dossier Woody Oakmos is my top favorite of the month but as you know my ever favorite from dossier are Woody Frisia which is inspired by Armani C <sighs> one of the bestest perfumes that you will smell and Musky Rose which is Narciso Rodriguez for her inspired please get it this is I don't even know which bottle this is it's amazing oh, it's amazing 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 I love this fragrance even though I'm not really a sweet uh, fragrance person but I love it it smells so good but sweet rose vanilla just so beautiful black card I can't I, I want this one too can this one go on my other hand? let's spray it here mm, just amazing I highly recommend you will not regret and yeah I will leave the links in the description box okay so I guess the next thing that I will show you is <laughs> something that I bought for my bed for my sleep it's this So beautiful, right? So beautiful. I would say this looks more like an orange blossom, hmm? but or almond blossom, almond blossom tree. But since it's an Armenian brand, I would suppose that this is actually apricot blossom because, as you should know, the most taste like the tastiest sweetest the most delicious apricots in the world grow in Armenia and if you haven't tried Armenian apricots you have not eaten apricots <laughs> so I will actually be revamping my my bedroom recording series that I have on my patreon by the way if you want to support me you can enter my patreon and youtube members club thank you for everyone who's supporting me there especially in these hard emotionally times so i thought that when i actually put this on my bed i will do a new series of my bedroom recordings where I'm basically telling like stories and whispering stories before I go to bed literally so it's so beautiful don't you find? let me show so 
So this is pure cotton with only slight percentage of viscose. Uh, so I love it. Reminds me a little of my favorite painting of Van Gogh. Van Gogh. By the way, those of you who are with me on my Patreon and YouTube Members Club will know that I made a video about Van Gogh and uh, where we were going through his beautiful book and there I said that his favorite painting that I didn't know was his Almond Blossom painting and also happens to be one of my favorite paintings of his so this also reminds me of that one with those vibes, can't wait to use it Alright, so there's that and just in case you're interested The brand is Vedexus But it's, you can only get it in Armenia so, And it comes with white sheets and beautiful floral ones I love it A small, I, I chose the medium and I actually liked the pattern so much that I actually bought two. I love it. Can't wait to put it on my bed and just sleep in this one. And also film in this one for my Patreon and YouTube members club. And it's this series 
they are like detective series. There are uh, some series that are more lighter-hearted, so there's some humor to it. There are more serious, there are more serious. Um, when I was little, like, how did I start watching this? Because this is an, uh, these are old TV series from 1994. So 1994, a long time ago, and I believe in Armenia, they started showing this much later. Because definitely didn't, <laughs> couldn't watch it in 1994. Much later, they started showing this in Armenia, but it was a huge success. Everyone was watching Inspector Rex. And um, recently, I just remembered it for some reason. I mean, my sister remembered it, and I just turned it on with English subtitles. On YouTube, it's available with English subtitles. And we just started watching it, like, an episode after an episode after an episode. And now I'm on my 10-something episode, so... Uh, and my favorite episodes are where there is a lot of wrecks, where there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of wrecks, because I absolutely love that dog. He's so charming. You have to watch it. And, um... And... It's a, it's a, actually a pity that the main character, the actor, Tobias, uh, Tobias, Tobias, I'm sorry, Tobias Moretti, um, I think after 1997, so a couple of seasons later, he already didn't want to play this character, he wanted to sort of move on. I think this is a mistake a lot of actors make though. Because they become really famous, they want to move on, but they should stay and continue doing what is so successful. I think for a moment they stop appreciating it. And in his interview I read, he said that um, when I started watching the series, I also watched the interview. And he said that uh, he was already tired of being the fifth paw for Rex, even though he's a very smart dog. <laughs> And that his own dog, as he owned a German Shepherd too, finally recovered his relationships with his owner because before he would go home and his German Shepherd would be like, what is this strange other dog you smell of? You know, he didn't like it. But the series are amazing. I'm trying to remember in which year did they start showing this in Armenia? must have been early 2000s and I am watching the series, I've started watching them, they're light-hearted, easy-going and I really, they really help me get my mind off of things and distress and I'm almost looking forward to that time of the day when I have done everything and I just can sit and watch Inspector Rex. Um, the only thing is that that I agree with the actors is that um, uh, later in the movie the writers should have could have put more effort to satisfy the actors as they wanted to make the storyline more complicated. Each episode focuses on a separate crime that uh, Rex <laughs> is able to solve, of course. Uh, you know how much I love dogs so for me, it was an amazing um, movie. So I, I recommend that. The next thing is skincare. So I have been super stressed and that uh, of course transfers to my skin and how I look. And recently I've discovered that um, I want to like give my skin a break. Because when you are stressed, you shouldn't be using stressful things on your skin. Stressful things for your skin are retinoids, retinol, retin-A, acids, um, glycolic salicylic and other. And even vitamin C can be that, can act as that. So I've really diminished the use of all of those things to maybe once a week. And I'm just giving my skin a break so my skin can relax in the stress too. So the first thing I will show you is this aloe gel. It's by a brand, Holy Land. 
it's an Israeli brand yes uh, and this one is called aloe gel because it's aloe vera gel which is um you know it's um very healing for the skin even though within the first ingredients we see aloe vera juice and that is less healing than the gel um, but it has a lot of other extracts it has collagen, elastin, chamomile extract it just, just it, it has a long list of different extracts basically this is a gel and I don't really like gel textures but this is a gel that moisturizes my skin and this is what I put on in the morning before I put the sunscreen on to take my dogs for a walk because when we go for a walk it's already sunny and because I was so stressed, my skin was also stressed and within just a couple of days, I got brown uh, when you get a lot of pigment in your skin, it means when you're not really prone to it it means that the immune system of your skin is low, is weak and so your skin is reacting to the stress in the sun by producing pigment, melanin, okay? so I'm using SPF, but I don't want the SPF to touch my skin because um, I don't want it, I don't like it, I don't believe that it's good for your skin because it isn't uh, so I put this aloe gel as a barrier between my skin and the SPF that I'm using and sometimes I will squeeze um, with my tooth vitamin D capsule and put it on again before applying SPF cream and please never apply vitamin C serums under your SPF cream if you know you're going to go under active sun I'm not talking about everyday situations but active sun we will talk about it later why it's bad and I don't understand why some companies are actually pushing it and another thing that I've been using a lot, say when I come home I wash that one off and what I use is rosehip oil this is actually food grade <laughs> rosehip oil my mom is using for like salads or just taking in that I've put in this um, bottle from another Holy Land product this is um, the bottle from their vitamin C serum so inside now it's rosehip oil put a couple of drops of rosy oil on my face and my face eats it up very quickly if I don't overdo and then I put on the Dr. Hauschka Dr. Hauschka Rose Day Cream Dr. Hauschka Rose Day Cream, this is not the light version, this is the original version I use this under my eyes, on my eyelids, doesn't irritate my skin and keeps my skin fairly hydrated and moisturized um, so and, and also calm so these are the things that I'm using rosehip is also rich in vitamin C so it's a natural source of vitamin C and this cream also I really really like it so I've been using these uh, a lot because like I said if you're stressed you should also consider um, the state of your skin and your skin is connected with you and so I'm trying to give my skin relaxation and calmness and relief also and I don't want to stress it out so that is the reason why I'm using these mostly all natural things and all natural ingredients so these are were the things that I'll be using and as for music that I've been listening to I've really been listening to just a whole lot of stuff it's chaotic I was hoping I would I would um, find a song on Eurovision that I would really like and listen to that one but I didn't mm just um, this year I just didn't find a song 
on your vision that uh, was catchy enough and that I would be singing in my head all the time. I'm so disappointed also in the winter. I'm so sorry, like Sweden. You're amazing. Your songs each year, I know that there are certain countries which songs are going to be amazing. And Sweden is one of them. And uh, Loreen was uh, amazing. I haven't watched the Eurovision, but I've seen some part of her performance. But it wasn't a memorable song. I'm sorry, I didn't like it. And it felt like I'd heard it before. And I didn't think the... Oh, I just didn't like it. Nothing. I didn't like the performance that much. I didn't like the music. And I know that the song won by jury's votes, which I think is very unfair. I think the people of Europe should be voting and not the jury. I mean, this is not a conservatory, right? These people are not performing to go to the conservatory. No, no, no. This is just fun. This is a show. Okay, so let the people decide. Um, I'm, I was also against the f uh, every year that our, um, the opinions of the Armenian jury also. Um, so I personally am never with the jury. When it comes to Eurovision, I'm almost always with the people, even though the people chose the song of Finland. <laughs> it was a freak show, to be honest. Uh, but I think if that's what people are choosing, it's their mood at the moment. And that's what should have won. Finland, so. So I think um, it should have won the song from Finland because um, it, it's the song that would have won if not for the jury, right? But other than that, I have some songs from Eurovision that I liked and that I would listen to over and over and over. For instance, Euphoria by Loreen of Sweden uh, was one of them. And then but my favorite, I think that guy was also representing Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. Sweden or Germany? We are the heroes of our times. One of my favorites. But of course, my most favorite song from Eurovision of all times is Italy's entry in 1950-something. I think that is the one legendary song that is in the so-called cartotech of world music. And it's Volare, or Nel Blu Dipinta di Blu. Volare So it's my 
and lip uh, gloss but I've shown it to you so many times it's Bobbi Brown Bellini the color is called Bellini it's my favorite I have uh, a lot of other lip glosses and they're inexpensive but my favorite is Bobbi Brown Bellini I don't know, it's just something about it I love <laughs> so I hope that your days will be sunny and even if they are not, enjoy the rain because recently when the weather forecast says it's going to rain but it doesn't I become very upset because I want it to rain I guess my mood is rainy recently the only time of the day that I'm feeling really amazing is uh, in the mornings when I walk my dogs because we go to this amazing park I will vlog about it I have actually, I've just not edited it I will put it either on my Patreon or here uh, and I and seeing how my dogs are happily running free in this park which is like a wild forest it just makes me so happy I always am looking forward to going there and I never want to come home because it's just so beautiful there and just a happy atmosphere um, actually I do want to come home I just um, uh, it's just that I, I like being home but I just there are things that are now uh, stressful and um, I have to deal with them so um, wishing you all good luck good health and see you soon